Good morning guys. So today I'm going to be planting some dahlias. And right now I'm headed over to the coop to check on the chicks. Every now and then they get spooked and they either run under the coop or inside. But since I did the run, I haven't had any issues with predators. And you know when the fox comes up to the fence, they run inside when they hear a hawk or even a vulture. We do have vultures in the area too. They go inside. So let me turn this fence off. I don't want to get electrocuted. Beep, 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 beep. Here's our guapo. And these are the uh, isobrowns, the brown ones. Kind of reddish let me tell you these are the friendliest chickens in the world at that barn of elder ah oh, they can run like crazy i can't catch them they think i'm gonna kill them or something They're not coming in. They want to be outside. Oh, and by the way, someone said this is kind of like a hotel for chickens. And I have to agree. They have lots of space. And every few days, and I think I have to do it today, I add some more wood chips. They have two roosting stations, but most of the time they don't use the first one. They all get in a line and use the top roost. And a few people have been asking about the truck. When am I gonna put it on the road? Well, the problem is that I have so many projects right now that I really don't have the time to work on it. Hopefully one of these uh, months, hopefully this year, I should be able to get it fixed and put it on the road, but no guarantees, guys. And I also need a lot of time, obviously, for my full-time job, uh, the homestead, so. But at least it's here. Eventually I will get to it and it's going to hit the road. And once it hits the road, it's going to be out there almost every week. But today I'm going to plant these dahlias. We have the lavender perfection and the dazzling magic. We got, I have three seeds of each. So let's go ahead and plant them. So I may put the dahlias in containers probably around some, somewhere around this area. But check out the, the raised beds and all the plants. Every single plant is thriving right now. Every one. I'm super happy with the progress. And even my potatoes. Oh, and my garlic. My garlic is starting to germinate. Look at that. That's my first. My potatoes are growing. Check them out. Everything is doing fantastic. I haven't lost a single plant to anything. Yeah, it looks like I may, ha I may have to water later today. But look at my tomatoes. Wow, I'm impressed. And here I planted aji amarillo, aji panca, and panca. These are Peruvian uh, seeds that I brought from Peru last year. And they are hot peppers that Peruvian cuisine just can't do without they use these all the time so i have two bags two fabric bags that i'm going to fill with compost and today is a beautiful day for this kind of thing and it's about i think it's about 78 or 79 or so and as you can see i am wearing my chancletas outside <laughs> yeah it's that kind of day The two bags are filled. So 
So the instructions on how to plant them, it's right there in the back of the package. They had to be planted. The bulbs had to be planted three to five inches deep. Spacing should be 12 to 16 inches. And they grow to a height of 36 to 48 inches. So I'm, I put the bags here next to one of my race beds. And hopefully within two weeks, I should have, well, they should be germinating within a week or so. And in a few, uh, maybe several more weeks after that, we should have beautiful, beautiful flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant them in these two bags, try to space them about 12 inches apart. Yeah, let's get started. And then I'm gonna water them. Oh, I didn't even need my skizzers. Here is one. It already started growing. There should be three here. But it feels like, I don't know, it feels like more. Ah, there's three. There we go. So I changed my mind, guys. Instead of three per pot, I'm gonna just do two. One of each. I want this this part that germinated, I want it facing up. Three to five inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and water now and then the rest is just a waiting game. All right guys, so I found this pot, an additional pot that I had laying around, and I'm gonna plant the last two seeds in there. So, yeah, this part that germinated, again, it's gonna go up three to five inches deep. So I'm gonna plant one here on one corner, the other one opposite of it. These plants are gonna be beautiful. The flowers are definitely beautiful. Now, for those that have been following me for years, I planted daily as about, I don't think I had, I wasn't doing vlogs back then. So maybe, yeah, about 10 or so years, maybe longer. And I've always wanted to do them again. And I got these seeds from, from Lowe's, if, in case anyone's wondering. Hey guys, so I found these two little tubers. They were separated from the main ones. And I'm going to plant them here to see if they grow. I think they will. So I'm just going to dig a quick hole here dump it in and then another one here I believe that's the root right there one little root has to go down and now I'm gonna mark it somehow wait a second so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these little sticks next to the seeds so I know that they're there and I'm going to put it behind them so I know that in front of it I have a seed and in front of this stick I have this other seed as a reminder sometimes you tend to forget and now I'm just going to water it guys I was just bit by this little thing it looks like a elongated fly i don't know if you can see it or tell what it is i was just bit in the arm by it never been bitten by anything like this if you know what this is let me know let's see if the camera will focus see that it's not a fly it's not a bee i have no idea what it is but it can bite all right guys so all my dahlias are planted, all my plants are watered, and now it's just a matter of a, of a waiting game. So, I wanted to remind you, you can plant dahlias in the city. You don't need a raised bed or a fabric uh, bag, you can use a bucket. You can use a bucket from Home Depot, Lowe's, Tractor Supply. You can fill it up with uh, topsoil, 
maybe a little bit of uh, organic fertilizer and plant it right there so yeah you can do it from a balcony in philadelphia new york wherever you are doesn't matter where and yeah now it's just a waiting game the dahlias they are beautiful flowers i've had lots and lots of them at my previous home in new jersey and i just love them and i wanted to plant them again and now i have the space that i can plant just about anything so yeah, as soon as uh, uh, I see flowers out, I'll, I'll let you guys know. But before we go, let's go check on the little monsters. Oh, by the way, guys, if you plan on getting a homestead or a small farm, I highly recommend one of these gorilla carts. They are awesome. I use it at every chance I get. So my brother Al in Jersey, he has a construction business and he's been using those gorilla carts for years and he says for small jobs and to carry small items around the uh the work site they are the best and i agree now this is not sponsored by that company by the way but it is a great product where did i buy it one of the big big uh, box stores i can't remember if it was depot or lowe's all right muchachos let's see if i can uh grab an iso brown they normally come up to me oh we have two here and she's roosting on top of the water that's not good because as she poops so i'm gonna hang the water and the feeder i have a different feeder i'm gonna hang them with a chain from the from the ceiling but check it out see i can touch them oh she just pecked me very lightly yeah she thinks my my uh my fingers contain some food or something and i normally feed them on uh yeah i give them feed on my hand sometimes but check it out but see see how easy this is iso browns they're super friendly yeah she has no name yet but she will soon yep if i try that with any of the others forget about it they run for their lives but not the iso browns i don't know if they like me or it's their nature but you can't get a friendlier chicken i don't think that exists all right go ahead all right let me see if i can catch the other one oh, she went away she was chasing something uh, this is el guapo i have high hopes for him and this is tippy i think yeah, here's a guapo again. An iso brown. Probably Ivana. I can't tell the difference between Ivana and her two sisters anymore. They look almost identical, by the way. What's up, guapo? He thinks I, I may have some feed that I want to give him. And maybe that's what they expect. Now that's Carmen. That's Carmen behind him. So, yeah, you remember the movie Three Amigos, El Guapo and Carmen? <laughs> That's who I named them after. Yeah, Carmen's going to be a beautiful golden lace Wyandotte. Look at that. Look at those colors. Look at those feathers. Oh, yeah, she's beautiful. And here's that jefe. No feathers on the tail. And I think I know what happened. But that's a... Uh, a topic for a different video but I feel I feel good about having them on this run at least they're safe for now in about three more weeks I may eliminate this either that or build a bigger one what's up Carmen you want a piece of me Carmen you want a piece of me nah she just wants the treat yeah that heifer is getting big too I just saw him this morning go after a guapo. He pecked them and a guapo ran away like a chicken. Yes, he did. But right now they're getting along. And believe it or not, I do talk to him every now and then. I know it's a little bit loco to be talking to your chickens, but it is what it is, right? He will peck my finger if I get close enough. He will do it. He's done it before. Oh, there's Carmen. Yeah. If I even get close to that, he will. 
Look at that. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know you're waiting for something. You want to pick me, don't you? Yep. You almost did it. Uh, I had him. I almost had him. Yep. You see that? He wants to bite me. I'm not going to let him. Whoa. All right. Enough uh, playing around, El Guapo. All right, guys. So thanks for visiting. I, I appreciate it. Um, you can leave a comment if you like. Give this video a like and share it. This is the only way I can grow. So I know you have lots of things to do this on this beautiful weekend. And you have a good morning, afternoon, or night wherever you are. Hasta mañana. Bye. Even in the hot time, uh -huh.